We are halfway through July and Zapier has already released a ton. Let me show you what's new in under two minutes. Let's do this. Central launched the ability to take a bot you create and throw it into Slack. So you can create custom Slack bots that are connected to all of your apps and can take up to 30,000 actions. I created a Pipedrive lead bot that allows anyone to interact with leads in Pipedrive without ever having to log in to Pipedrive. Interfaces launched a new component. Now you can create a checklist. So if you have an employee onboarding portal, maybe you add a checklist to show the tasks they need to get done. This is linked up to a Zapier table. Here you can just check off the items. They'll go into a completed section here. We also have an upcoming webinar on August 6th, where we're gonna do a deep dive into tables. What does it look like to have an automation first database? We're gonna go into a bunch of examples, have a live Q and A. You don't wanna miss it. Go ahead and register today. Zapier chatbots released a whole bunch of ways to make your chatbot look even better. Here's one I created. You can customize the logo at the top, the avatar right here. You can do custom colors. If it's a standalone page, a favicon, you can even make the chatbot embed icon look like a taco. Oh, what's up, taco? July might as well be Zapier's makeover month. Canvas also added the ability to change up colors. Any workflow step here in Canvas can be a different color, making it just a little easier on the eyes. We've also added in more details about tables that show up here. You can see how many records are used. You can also see the fields that are in the table. So that's a wrap for the month of July. We'll see you next time.